I'm Cindy from Blue Star at Home, and today I'm going to show you how to apply Iron Orchid Design's new paint inlays into a clear coat. Now, paint inlays are not transfers. You may have tried the IOD transfers in the past, but transfers are an inked image with a sticky back that you press and rub and it, that inked image sticks to the surface of your project. Inlays are very different. Paint inlays are actual paint, painted images that are on the back of a carrier sheet. And when that paint is reactivated with moisture, you get the transfer or the inlay of the paint into your surface. So you get the result of a hand painted technique um, with the inlays. Typically, you can paint, you can apply the inlays on a wet painted surface. You paint your piece or you paint your section and while that paint is wet, you apply the inlay and let the moisture from the paint reactivate the paint on the inlay. Today, I'm gonna to show you a different technique. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to apply the paint inlays on a clear coat because you may not always want to paint your piece. You may want to apply it to a stained and have that wood finish come through. Or you may have done stenciling or blending and then it's impossible to have all that paint be wet to apply your inlay on. So hang tight. Today I'm going to show you how you can achieve an inlay with a clear coat. Here we go. The first step is to trim the border off of the inlay. The border keeps your image from going all the way to the edge and makes it impossible to line up the pattern. So I started off by trimming off the border. Then I lined up placement and used painter's tape to hold it in place. I use my fingernail to create a crease where the image should end. That's going to be my cut line. Just run my fingernail along the edge and now all I have to do is cut along that crease. Makes it so much easier to cut when you line it up that way. After lining up the image on the bottom piece, I followed the same steps to create a crease that I could use as a cut line and trim that off so that that bottom piece of inlay fits the panel as well. Because I had done some blending on this chest, I needed to use a clear coat to apply the inlay. My choice was Fusion's decoupage and transfer gel. You can use other decoupage mediums and water-based top coats as well. I used a sponge brush to apply a generous amount on the panel where the inlay will go. By taping the inlay in place before applying the, the transfer gel, it makes it easy to flip the inlay down and into place with very little adjusting. So I just brushed on my transfer gel and I just brush it on where, where that transfer panel is going to, to be. That's the only section I need wet. Then flip the image down, line it up in place and smooth it out. Once the inlay is in place, um, I used a rag to just kind of gently wipe up any extra top coat or glue that, that has gotten into place. And then I used a brayer to make sure that the inlay had good contact with the transfer gel and it helps to press the image into the gel. You want good contact between the water-based substance and the paint on the paper. 
Next, I followed by spritzing the inlay with water and then dabbing it with a rag to soap up, up the excess water and again press the inlay into the gel. Here you can begin to see what it's going to look like when it's finished. I'm going to repeat those same steps on the bottom. I need to make sure that I line up my image so that those, the image will match. Tape it into place, and then move it out of the way so I can apply a generous coat of transfer gel. Just a sponge brush makes it easy and will give me a smooth application. And line it up and press that image into place. I'm going to use the brayer to smooth it out, make sure I have good contact with the transfer gel on all the parts of the image. Sometimes that brayer squishes stuff out, so I make sure I clean that up. Then spritz with water. And dab it to make sure that you don't have any drips or runs or anything. And give it a one last shot. I moved that tape so I could get that little piece of image underneath the tape. Make sure it had good contact. Okay, once the inlay is in place, I waited about 20 minutes for the paint to fully inlay into the gel. You don't want to wait too long or the paper will begin to adhere to the gel. I spritz the paper again with water to soften the paper so it would release. Wait a few seconds for the paper to absorb the water and then gently pull the paper off. This part is so satisfying. It's so cool to see that image come to life. If the paper starts to tear, you'll need to spritz it with water again. Once removed, set the inlay papers aside to dry. If you've used a medium that reactivates with water, then the inlays are reusable three to four times. Since I used a decoupage medium, it's unlikely that I'll be able to reuse these papers. Isn't she beautiful? So the paint inlay is a proprietary chalk type paint that needs to be sealed. If you brush on a top coat or apply a wax directly on the inlay, the paint will smear. I put a mix of half water and half Fusion's Tef Coat in a spritzer bottle and spritzed on a layer of top coat. You can do two coats if you like. Then you can follow up with a full coat of Tef Coat, wax, or your preference of water-based top coat. And here are the final results. The chest was painted in Fusion's Ingle Nook and blended with cashmere. Just gorgeous. If this tutorial was helpful, I hope you'll subscribe and follow our YouTube channel. We love sharing how-tos to help you in your DIY journey. Thanks again. Have a great day.